Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here from a remote studio, as you can see. This is the lower level, garden level, we like to refer to it, at the Holman House. And we're going to go We're going to go somewhere else and get kind of that kitchen effect, uh, actually, which is pretty appropriate with, uh, with Denise Wahlberg. She's Director of Corporate Marketing at Fustini's Oils and Vinegars up in Traverse City, one of our favorite places. Wait, are you guys knee deep in snow, Denise, or not? Yes. I mean, it's coming down for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Well, it's supposed to, and that puts us in the festive meeting, uh, festive mood right Definitely. now, right at the holidays. Let, let's start with, before we get into holidays, holiday sales, all that stuff, let's start with this whole entrepreneurial story of the sure. sure. Take us right so back to Genesis. <laughs> or at least 2008. Um, and that is when our owner, Jim Milligan, retired from 3M um, Global Worldwide. And um, he and his wife at the time settled in Traverse City where they had vacationed often. And his wife had spent a lot of time there with family. And um, just kind of saw this whole cooking phenomenon start to take off. And with his travels to Europe is where he kind of saw the concept for oil and vinegar tasting rooms, because especially in Italy and places like that, you know, there's, there's stores specific towards oils, towards vinegars, you know, and then you go to your bakery and get your bread and you go here and get your vegetables and so on. So he really saw that concept during his travels with 3M. And um, he wasn't really ready to be done. And so even though he left the corporate world, he started um, finding out about oils and vinegars and opened a tasting room in Traverse City. And within a week, he knew he would be opening more because it was just so well received. So the following year, um, opened one in Petoskey. And then the following year, 2010, he opened in both Holland and Ann Arbor. And so those are our current four stores that we have as long as, as well as our online presence. So, so I see a pretty consistent demographic in those communities as well. It, yep. it makes a, a certain appreciation for, for what you're doing, but what kind of a crazy guy starts a company in 2008? <laughs> yep. It wasn't, probably wasn't ideal, but um, you know, it, um, you know, they were, very much a foodie family and you know hey why not give it a try at the time so yeah it, you know it's interesting I have always said there's no bad time to start a good business and exactly is yet another proof of that all right so so let's talk a little bit about product line and the stores and where they fit in and all that stuff sure so we have um Two, we have flavor infused olive oils, and then we also have what we call our select olive oils, which are a non flavored, straight up single varietal olive oil that we started when we could travel. We started traveling to Spain um, and selecting. You know, we would go out in the field, um, we would watch them harvest, get to the mill, they would press because it takes about, it's a total of about three hours to go from the garden to olive oil. So, um, yeah, that we saw wow. that pick select, and then we've got our flavor infused balsamics, um, great for salad dressings and other applications. So you are in the business for people who really have taste and, 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 and really are resolved that it's the, it's the finesse and the finery and all those things that make a difference. Yes, I, I like to call them relaxed foodies. So, you know, when you have people over, food's not ready, you know, everyone gets a glass of wine and pulls up to the counter and kind of you have a conversation as you cook. So, um, although, you know, we also cater to people who, you know, want to eat healthy and use oils and vinegars for salad dressings and other things as well. But um, no, yeah, I, with think, our I think I think you're right. People don't realize the, the health aspect Mm -hmm. of, of using those natural oils it's it's, yes. it's pretty cool yeah all right yep. so so we're coming on the holidays so yep. who do all those people think of for <laughs> so, so what have, what have you got give us the whole deal so we've got several gift sets um we have one we call the sweet italian which has got our top flavors of oils and vinegars so you know a tuscan herb a garlic our traditional balsamic 
those, which is a great set for someone who you're not quite sure if they know how to use them and what they use them for. Um, you know, sauteing is easy. You know, the Tuscan herb and garlic are excellent for just bread dipping even. So, which is something everyone, you know, if you need some quick appetizer or something, that's always a fun thing to do. The nice thing is all of our bottles now have a QR code on them. So if you have your garlic olive oil and you're not sure what to do with it, scan that code and it will bring you to all the recipes on our website that use uh, the garlic olive oil. So possibilities become endless. Oh my goodness. Yes. So the other fun gift set is we call the Taste of Michigan and it has fruit infused from um, the fruit juice infused from fruit grown in Michigan. So Traverse City Cherry, the West Michigan blueberry and the Michigan apple are all together. Wow. This is this is so cool that there's instruction beyond because I'm thinking of somebody like me who would love to get into that, you know, I know the difference between good and bad sector and then being able to scan the code and get some instruction in that. Yes, you know, and we want to, we want to help people um, just learn how to cook and continue to cook healthy. Well, listen, go online, get the stuff. It's, it's unbelievable. It really is. My wife's a dietitian. She loves your stuff. All right. Wonderful. I wonder. All right. Denise Wahlberg, thanks so much. She's the director of uh, corporate marketing, Fustini's Oils and Vinegars in Traverse City. And happy holidays. I know you'll have one. I'm Chris Holman. You've been watching this on the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. We'll be right back.